Water slows as it reaches base level. Slowing runoff down results in deposition of alluvium. And as a river reaches base level, all of its material will be deposited. We call the end of a river, I know this is kind of backwards, I know, but people are trying to be correct and, you know, not be too crass, let's say. The end of the river is known as the mouth of the river. So the mouth of the river is where the river is going to reach base level. And remember, if a river slows down, it will deposit material. It does this, of course, in a hierarchy. With the heaviest material, that would be the material in bed load being deposited first, and the lightest material, the material in solution, being deposited last. Nevertheless, when a river reaches a body of water, whether that's a lake or an ocean, it will begin to deposit material. Therefore, forming at the mouth of a river is a particular depositional feature, an aggradational feature. We call these things deltas. The reason the word delta is used is because the Greeks described the Nile River Delta, which looks in terms of its shape, it's kind of triangular. It looks like the Greek letter D. This diagram shows delta formation. You can see that the red arrow says base level. It's pointing at that black line. And what's happening is the water in A is coming from the left and it reaches base level, which is let's say the ocean. As it does that, it deposits its material because the river slows down and stops moving, which means all of its material is going to be deposited. The evolution of a delta goes like you see there, which is you go from A to B. Why does it change course? Either increased discharge or maybe decreased discharge can have this to happen. Nevertheless, it's going to continue to deposit material. And over time, rivers are going to change courses, including at their mouths. And you can see at C, the delta really begins to grow. D, E, and F eventually have a full-blown D-shaped, delta-shaped delta. If you look at this picture carefully, that is Lake Ontario. And you can see with the white arrow that I'm pointing at what is moving water. That's the Niagara River. The Niagara River connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. Of course, the Niagara River goes over Niagara Falls, exactly right, which is a lot of churning up and ripping up, which of course is gonna cause the landscape to be torn up. But as the Niagara River, which is not very long, maybe 30 miles or something, whatever it is, when it reaches Lake Ontario, it reaches its local base level. And you can see with the orange arrow what's happening that all the material that's being carried by the Niagara River gets deposited. And if you look, you follow the material out into Lake Ontario, you can see basically where the current comes to its end and all of the material is deposited. This is how all deltas are formed.